Hey everybody, Monkey Rich Mike back with the Mustang. This has been hugely popular for the channel, so keep on coming. Like, subscribe, share, tell all your friends about it. It's a lowly V6, but folks do seem to like this car. Today's video, we're gonna do three things to make her so much better. All right, Lola and I will be doing these things. We're going to tone her down, cool her down, and quiet her down. Maybe not in that order, but it's gonna be fun. There she is, there's the diff, what lies beneath, we're gonna find out very, very quickly. Okay, first thing you wanna do, of course, make sure the fill hole on the other side, it's literally just right over here on the other side of the axle, um, you can get that out, because if you can't get the fill hole out, you can't fill it up, you're totally screwed. And because Ford does not believe in drain, whoo, in a drainage hole, the back half of the pumpkin has to come out. So we're gonna do that. All right, let's remove this and see what lies beneath. This is gonna get messy and I'm not looking forward to it. But let's just kind of see what's gonna happen, okay? Come on now. Oh, that looks pretty good. Well, that was a huge surprise in a good way. Yeah, okay. Someone's been in here and changed that. Doggone it. So now I just get to put it back together with my new RTV sealant. Yay, wasted time, but now we know. That was honey colored, that was looking pretty. That was looking really good, which has me worried. All right, we're not gonna show you how I put this thing back together and fill it up, we'll just do that off camera because Mike got really dirty. Now time to tone down. I don't know what you think about this. I think it's hideous and cheap looking. I don't know, it's not a race car. Okay, it's a V6 Mustang. Sorry, it's a V6. Super easy to do. Just some little Allen bolts right here and I've already loosened this up. Okay, we're just gonna take this off and we're gonna replace it with an original Ford Mustang gas cap cover that I just happened to pick up at the salvage yard. Let go. Right? Just let go. She's coming apart. What the hell? <gasps> there it is. Okay. Out with the hideous. I guess that thing broke. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna clean this thing up a little bit here. Oh, what is this? This is new. You're not even the same size, are you? You're smaller, dad gummit. Okay. Still smaller. What the heck? There you are. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take this, get it the heck out of here. And put in the original that matches, so, well, not the original of this car, but it's one in the original color. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's just... Tell me this isn't a sign of things to come. Please tell me this is not... Okay, it's not. Okay, good. Okay. Now, while we're in here, we're going to give it a quick clean. So I'll be back. Don't move! There's a different viewpoint. Yep, out with the old. In with the cool and original look. There it is right here, even with a little gas cap included. See how it goes? How easy is this? Thank you. 
Yeah. Okay. And another bolt. Come on. Okay, these are driving me crazy. These stupid gloves. What do I do it? Why? Why? Put this on. Board. And that looks horrible. <laughs> What's wrong? What happened? There's something missing. The th oh. <sighs> Dad got it. Okay, well, there's two little rubber things right here that I should have grabbed from the other car. We are cooling things down now for the Stang. Yep, because we're going, it's not even really a deep dive. Okay, we are replacing the compressor. I think that's the problem. I have already evacuated professionally to recycle the R134A. So let me move the camera here and I'll show you the compressor. Look, it's right here. Never have I seen an easier compressor to get to, I think. Okay, to replace this, remove the belt. You've got one, two, three, four bolts or nuts under there. They're 13s. You got one electrical connector and you have the in and out port, which is held with a 10 millimeter nut. Super easy. Okay, we're gonna do this with some music so you guys can enjoy it and I can get through this very, very quickly without yapping my mouth the whole time. So let's see how long it takes to replace the air conditioning compressor in a V6 Mustang. Yay. Well, we have completed another project almost. Okay, so this is the old one. Voila. This is where the in and out ports, we have new O-rings and it literally attaches just like this, right there. Boop, it goes back together. Then we're gonna put the serpentine belt back together. Then we do the air hose. Then we evacuate the system, recharge the system and enjoy the fruits of our labor. But wait, there's more. Yes, as an extra feature, an extra bonus feature, since you're watching right now, while the vacuum pump vacuums, we are gonna put in some new tie rods. Tie rod ends because this thing is history. See how it's cracked and everything? Yeah, so this has to go and I'm gonna do one on each side like you're supposed to. So this is a bonus scene. Yep, let's get to work. And as the sun sets, work continues on the Stang. Yep, drink your water, people. Drink your water. We have two new tie rods on the outsides, so that is good. 22 turns coming off, 22 going back on. You make sure you count them, then you may not need an alignment, but I always do, because I can't count. So, we also have the system evacuated. We have a nice vacuum. It has not moved in uh, an hour. That's how long it to get, took me to get the uh, tie rods and everything on. And now we're going to put the Freon or the 134A into the system once I figure out how much it holds. You've seen thousands of people do this on the YouTube, so I may not film that, okay? We're gonna start the car, add the R134A, and we're gonna be sitting pretty, driving cool, looking better, and all is well for the Tang. All right, well, other than being completely covered in grease, it's been a good day. She's running good. Air conditioner, check. She is cooler. She is toned down because we did the uh, gas cap cover, which I'm still not sure if I want it or not. A little off, but that's okay. 
we did the um, tie rod ends as a bonus as well. And of course we did, what was the first thing that we did? Like I said, it's been a day. Oh, the rear diff. Yeah, we, were the, we did the rear differential fluid, which looked really good. So although this is gone, that's looking and running and performing magnificently. Okay, folks, please like, please subscribe. Look at this. I'm growing a beard. I thought I'd find out what it's like to have a beard. This is grease. This is beard. These are freaky eyes. All right, folks, please like, please subscribe. Let me know what you think about this staying project. This car is waiting for some little pieces for the fuel pump. I cannot tell you how long I have been waiting to try a new fuel pump on this car. They sent me one with an outlet, the inlet side. I can't get anything to fit, so I have been waiting. Hopefully that's gonna be here in the next couple of days. So we will get to work on Janus once again. And then the S63, the big daddy of them all, is in queue to get worked on. She has the same kind of a problem as this car. New air conditioning system. Yay, love it. On that car, it's a lot of work. This car was very, very easy. Okay, folks, have a great night or morning, whatever time it is when you see the video. We are back with another one very, very soon. Say goodbye, Lola. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Oh, so sweet. Bye, everybody.